Susie and Jeff, the Woolsey fire destroyed nearly 500 homes, and so far only 15 rebuilt applications have been approved. And tonight we learned that a number of steps need to take place before construction can even begin. We lost our home. It was completely burnt down. Louisa Flores Black says this is all that's left of her Malibu home following the devastating Woolsey fire. She wants to rebuild, but she says it's not so simple. One of the obstacles is having to pave a new road that will meet today's fire codes for a property that was originally built in the 50s. When you live like in the canyons, you know, you have to open a mountain. On top of that, the permitting process is tough to do because the hazardous material from the fire has to be cleared away first. During a planning commission meeting, homeowners were reminded the cleanup work requires certification through the state. Doing it yourself with outside of the scope of these um, authorized programs um, could delay your rebuilding process and we don't want that to happen for anybody. Homeowners have complained the cleanup work has been moving very slowly. There is an effort going on. Uh, just give us some time. The commission says this fire rebuild desk has been set up at City Hall to help with questions. But if things haven't been stressful enough, on Wednesday, President Trump threatened to cut off relief for survivors of California's recent fires because of an ongoing standoff with the state's high ranking politicians. The president tweeted, I have ordered FEMA to send no more money. Malibu's mayor released a statement saying, I am confident that FEMA will continue to do their excellent and crucial work. Loss of FEMA funding would have a serious negative impact on our most vulnerable residents. For Louisa Florence Black, who's trying to rebuild her life for her young family, the president's comment is adding to an already stressful situation. It's just like insensitive and irrational. And the application process is moving much quicker for people who want to rebuild on the same footprint as their original home. For more information on future public hearings as well as resources available, go to our website, which is cbsla.com, and click on Scene on TV. Live in Malibu, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.